Brand new film on Mbugiel that is Love and Betrayal, Jainaba and Nafi, featuring Hadi Nyang, Basin Loom, Lai Sose, Seydou Kanjalo, and the big man called Wagan. All made in the Gambia. Brand new, Jainaba and Nafi, coming soon. Fatima Minketa Bari Musoti, Wolaku Bunyata Abama la Catambachela, Yinata Tina Kuja Wokuja Keta, the Kabela. I saw you alone. You came here and you came here. You came here and you came here. I'm not going to do that. 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 Amanda me fang enata longo ya aisa mira moja wa mente Fatima lo wote andungu na tu wajabie kabiria kala mutoko kono leba. Kiti kiti bula ne. Very soon, I will take you to my room. I will bring you to my home. Alan na tu aisa harje ke kendela miya kano. Come here, for drunk to any other bed that you want. Musa, Minketa Fatima Farmati, Amanda Fatima Loko Munyano, for Ayabai Kotrako. So, you left the camp to Muruba and Latayero? No! Hey, what the hell do you think you're doing? Aisha, you must have to do my ability to be able to do it. Sponsors are invited.
Gambe. I am Fatu Sanu Kike. The President and Commander-in-Chief of the Gambe Armed Forces, His Excellency, Sheikh Professor Alhaji Dr. Jame, on Wednesday presided over the decoration and swearing-in ceremony of 14 newly promoted senior military officers. All but one of the military officers were promoted to the rank of major, while the other was elevated to the position of captain. The development forms part of efforts to build standards and professionalism in the armed services. Meanwhile, the Office of the President informs the general public that this year's independent anniversary celebration will be low-key. A media release from State House states that decentralized celebration will be held in all administrative regions throughout the country. Still on promotions in the armed services, 262 personnel of the Re Republican National Guard station at State House were recently elevated to various ranks ranging from Lance Corporal to Warrant Officer Class 1. The colorful ceremony held at the State House grounds and attended by senior military officers and comrades also witnessed the graduation of 73 soldiers who completed basic IT training at the Gambia Armed Forces Training School. Ten students who performed extremely well in the Gambia Basic Education Certificate exams have been rewarded with laptop computers and other goodies by Trust Bank Gambia Limited. The bank started the initiative dubbed Excellence in the Millennium Award some 10 years ago to fulfill its corporate social responsibilities. Justice Emmanuel Ikep has convicted and sentenced former Social Security boss Edward Graham to one year in prison and was also ordered to pay $73,000 to home finance company in default to serve another year in jail. Graham, it could be recalled, was dragged to court on charges of economic crimes. The case revolves around the employment of one Anche Cham as finance manager of home finance company. Prosecutors say the accused used his influence as a social security and housing finance corporation boss to ensure the employment of Ancha, who was evidently unqualified for the post. Well, in a separate legal case, the Special Criminal Court has also handed down a 10-year jail term with hard labor to one Alassane Toure for defiling an underage girl. The same court also acquitted and discharged one Salifu Toure who was charged with rape. And in other news, police in Senegal on Wednesday intervened to scatter anti Abdullah Ward demonstrators. The organizers who were angered by the police action argue that the protest action is legal and that made a formal application to that effect was made more than 24 hours before the protest march. The protesters were met with rubber bullets and water cannon, but leaders of the movement have promised to step up the resistance between now and the February 26 presidential ballot. The visit to the White House by the Chinese Vice President did not go down well with pro-Tibetan protesters in the U.S. Talks between President Barack Obama and Xi Jinping centered on trade and commerce. The top Chinese government officials' visit was clouded by China's recent decision to veto a UN resolution on Syria. But both Beijing and Washington have pledged their commitment to ensuring a competitive but balanced trade flow between their countries and the world. You can also follow that story and other GRTS programs live on our website at www.grts.gm. There you can also monitor GRTS Radio Live. That does it for this edition of GRTS News in summary. Thanks for the pleasure of your company and do have a wonderful morning.